Doug and Shelley, this doctor says Officer Benner's injuries were so bad that there wasn't much any medical professional could have done to save him. Dr. Drew Harrell explains how an ER team jumped into action when the ambulance arrived. Clearly, an individual that arrives in the resuscitation bay with ongoing CPR, having suffered a gunshot wound, um, gets maximal um, <coughs> interventions and focus from us in a very brief amount of time. And that is what happened that night. But one of the bullets that hit Rio Rancho police officer Greg Benner penetrated some of his organs. Even the, there in front of a trauma team that given the severity of his wounds, it would have been uh, exceedingly difficult to, to keep him alive. Andrew Romero is on trial for first degree murder. Investigators say he shot Officer Benner three times in a Rio Rancho strip mall during a traffic stop in May of 2015. There is also focus today on the alleged murder weapon, a 9 millimeter Beretta pistol. The state's forensic expert says the shots that killed Officer Benner came from that gun, a weapon investigators say Romero threw from his car window that night. Romero's attorney pointing out forensics doesn't prove who pulled the trigger. But what you aren't offering any testimony at today is who fired that pistol, right? That's correct. Romero's girlfriend, Tabitha Littles, was in the car with Romero that night. As part of a plea deal, she testified against Romero. Reporting in Los Lunas, I'm Royal Day, KOAT Action 7 News.